And he's gone leg before. Shuffle shuffling across. Big Bird Garner was in no doubt. And neither was Empire Mel Johnson. And that uh, didn't get up at all. There have been others that have lifted sharply. There's no doubt he's absolutely plumb. But I think he had every right to expect that to lift a bit more than that. So, Australia now four for 43. Well, a number of people will be surprised to find Greg Chappell so high up in the tyre power strike rate. 77.52 runs per 100 balls faced. But he has had a few innings this year in which he really has gone after the bowling, notably a 61 against the West Indies in Brisbane. Garner to Chapel. And he's bowled him. Greg Chapel gone. Cheaply once more. And yet another duck against his name. Well, Chapel absolutely amazed there by the way that ball nipped back. He was, in fact, I think a little late on that stroke. Garner absolutely elated there at yet another duck to Greg Chappell. Greg Chappell there shaking his head very ruefully as he goes to the pavilion. No score against his left. And two wickets have fallen for Trent. Garner to Laird. The recourse. Yes, he's got him. Joel Garner strikes. The first wicket falls at 37. Joel Garner, first flight for the West Indies. A ball that Bruce Laird played back to. There was a lot of movement off the seam. Let's have a look. And a little high, perhaps, but Bruce Laird playing from the crease. And by Bruce Martin gave it a lot of consideration and Big Joel agreeing with him. And Bruce Laird finds himself on the way back to the pavilion. Reasonable start, out for 13, Australia 1 for 37. Morgana bowling to Kepler Vessels. Oh, a ball, and that ball bowled him. He's bowled him. So once again, Kepler Vessels getting tucked up. And as a result of trying to play around that front pad, getting a little inside edge, I think, from the ball bobbing onto the leg stump. And a beautiful piece of bowling. This was pointed out he's attacking leg stump. The angle was nearly off stump. He tried to force it square. Got a bottom edge that bounced once, twice onto the leg bale. And a good piece of work by Joel Garner. The West Indians have done their homework on Kepler Vessels and he departs for seven runs. Australia, one for 12. 16 to Mosin. There's a confident appeal. And umpire Mel Johnson agrees. Mosin Khan is on his way, LBW, to Joel Garner. In the previous over, we are just commenting on how Mosin tends to play back just so often. And a very good delivery from Joel Garner sends Mosin Khan on his way back to the pavilion when he was just looking to be in threatening form. So Mosin out for 16, LBW, bowled back. Change in batting order. Just four overs to go. And a tremendous Yorker there from Joel Garner, slamming it right underneath Salim's bat. And Salim looking at his bat ruefully, almost as though he wished it was a couple of inches longer. What a magnificent delivery that was from big Joel Garner. At the stumps, perfectly pitched, quicker delivery, getting underneath the bat of Salim. And that's the place to bowl when you come into these final overs. Magnificent piece of bowling by big Joel Garner. Coming back after injury, he certainly appears to be in great form. Nelly hitting the stump there on the full. Beautiful Yorker. So the end of Salim and Pakistan, 6 for 163. I would imagine uh, Joel Garner has made his point with the West Indies selectors find it very hard to leave him out of the final series now. Oh, and he's done it again. Straight under the bat of Ijaz. And the big man has probably the best Yorker in cricket, I would say. Big Joel now running through these down the order Pakistan batsmen. And what another great delivery. Just a couple of inches underneath the bat. 
got through the probing bat of Ejaz and Joel Garner picking up his second wicket with the Yorker. Great piece of bowling once again from big Joel Garner. Ejaz out without a duck, with a duck rather. And Pakistan now. Seven for 164. Beautifully bowled, he's got him, cut back and bought a bowled again. A good delivery from Joel Gunn. The breeze coming across the ground, cut back in an inside edge and bought a bowled again. And a great over by Joel Gunner. Had Alan Bought in all sorts of trouble early on in the over, and then producing this magnificent delivery. Threw in for pace and deflection down onto the stumps from Alan Border. So good breakthrough by the West Indies and Alan Border's run of outs still continue. So Australia now one for 14. Joel Garner to David Boone. Oh, it's up in the air. Could be out. Sips under it. He's caught it. Boone standing his ground. Off his arm, maybe. Well, that's a surprise. I thought that was off the glove. It's all happening here at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Magnificent first up delivery by Joel Gunn and taken on the shoulder by David Boone. Certainly did look as though the gloves were in the road, Bill, but he just dropped them out the road. And Richard Gabriel getting back. Bowled in, beautiful Yorker by Joel Garner. Strikes again and vessels bowled clean as a whistle. Garner with that high action speared it in towards the stumps and knocked him over. Beauty. We've seen Garner York the tail enders on numerous occasions this summer. On that occasion, it was the bat of Kepper vessels that he snuck underneath of. And that was a beautiful delivery by Garner, removing that off stump of Kepler vessels. Vessels out for 17. Nost oh, Garner is coming into bowl, and the batsman is Graham Wood. In the air and out. First ball. Graham Wood coming right off the shoulder of the bat. There was quite a bit of bounce in this wicket for the McDonald's Cup semi-final. That was the New South Wales-Victoria match. And it looks as though there's still quite a bit of bounce in this wicket. And Graham Wood has fallen victim to that extra bounce. And what a dream start for the West Indies. Joel Garner with that height of his, you can see that bounce. It's up around about hip high. Graham Wood was pretty keen to try and get onto the front foot. And a nice simple catch into the gully. A bad start for the Australians. Graham Wood picking up a duck, our first delivery. Court holding, bowl Garner without scoring off the very first ball. Garner to Silva. Well, that's a tremendous delivery, well taken by Geoffrey Dujon. And uh, that ball coming off the glove. And Amal Silva didn't even hang around to wait for the umpire. He was on his way. A brute of a delivery certainly seemed unfair that delivery he's very close to the stumps he's bowling at middle and leg at cut got a glove or a handle and Dujon took a fine catch a fine piece of bowling and, and I'll silver out for four but no discredit to him great piece of bowling from Joel Garner Garner to Wetamuni must be out Vivian Richards Straightforward catch, Wedamuni goes, and Joel Garner is posing awful problems out there this morning on a very lively surface. Not only is Garner getting movement off the wicket, such as this, away from the bat, he's also getting lift, and Wedamuni there just exasperated, going for the off drive, it was never on, found the edge of the bat, and that went very quickly, but chest height to Viv Richards. So, see that, Wedamuni out, caught Richard Bell Garner, eight, and the second wicket is down. In the air, and well taken. Gordon Greenwich is the man in the gully. He's hurt himself, but he's taken the catch. And uh, once again, having problems with the leg. It looks to be around about the knee on this occasion. Or is it uh, perhaps the groin area that they're going for? A ventful piece of cricket in more ways than one. Wayne Phillips, a quicker delivery. And Joel Garner catching him, squaring him up, and Greenwich diving forward, and perhaps just twisting that knee of his. He has had a few problems for it, but an early setback for the Australians. Phillips out for four, and bowled by Garner. Jones has come in and has put back to ball, has looked good. 
will not go any longer. Off the inside edge, down into his stumps. And that's 3 4 19 as Jones is bowled by Garner for 11. Chopping it back onto his stumps. Yes, Jones looking good before that, but not good enough as uh, Garner makes that ball come back from outside the off stump. Jones trying to maneuver into position to give himself room to square cut, trying to dictate turns to Joe Garner. Garner doesn't permit it. Onto the wicket it goes, 3 for 19. And Graham with enormous pressure on the opening batsman against Joel Garner. Off the edge, in the air, Vivian Richards under it, and the first Australian wicket has fallen, and Joel Garner's burst over. What a beautiful piece of bowling. It was well caught, but that was a lethal delivery. Very few batsmen in the world could have handled that. There is right arm over the wicket. He digs it in short. Come at Graham Wood. Try to keep it down. Got the top of the bat, and Richards took a simple but well-judged catch. And a great start for the West Indian team. What a great one-day bowler Joel Garner is. Out for a duck. Disappointment for Graham Wood, but the elated West Indians gather as one. And Australia, one for three. Well, that's a good delivery. Richie Richardson grabs it, and Smith doesn't even wait for the umpire's decision. He walks. And what a nasty delivery. I think that was even worse than the one that Graham Wood caught. Joel Garner is flat out. I don't think he could bowl any faster. And this wicket, unfortunately, he's got a lot of bounce in it. That was a lethal delivery. We see him just a little bit wide of the stumps and dug it in it come at him. And Richardson took a pretty simple catch, but not much you can do with a delivery like that. And that's a great piece of bowling, and Australia are already in trouble. In the third over, at two for seven. Holding. Joel Garner. Sudden all round again. And LBW. Simon O'Donnell gone. Tony Craft gives him. We may find that O'Donnell was trying to take the ball off his stumps there from Joel Garner, whipping it away just in these last few overs. Well, that hit on the roll of the pad. He was up off the ground a little, but it was certainly in front. Garner and, uh, well, no, only Garner. Dujon came up uh, with the appeal a little later. So it's all going on out there. Everyone's getting a bit fratchy out in the centre, but not in the commentary box here. Tony Cozier is uh, hanging loose and cool. O'Donnell on 69 off just 79 balls, and no one can argue with that. That's pretty good going. Oh, well caught. Well, uh, hasn't he caught some catches in this match? Joel Garner almost looks as if he can't believe it. He caught a great catch to this Miss Border, and that one was hit back at him very firmly. The end of a tremendous innings, this by Simon O'Donnell, and good to see the youngster making his mark. Joel Garner, I don't think he had time to even think that he had caught that. Hit with tremendous power by Simon O'Donnell, looking for the drive straight down the ground, full toss, and Garner didn't have full control over it at the start and then the ball holding onto it in those hands of his picking up his first wicket but the end of a very good innings from Simon O'Donnell straight out 7 for 89 at one stage now for 9 for 176 and O'Donnell out for 69 hold him so Roger is out and Pakistan in further trouble now 4 for 34 with Raja. And that's a really good piece of bowling as well. Three good Yorkers to Jeff Lawson. Uh, Dyson ran straight into him. He's bowled him! What a beautiful delivery from Goddard. Well, that'll teach him to run into him. He produced a magnificent Yorker which bowled John Dyson neck and crop. Very tough for them. Chapel bowled by Joel Garner, having a wild swing. He realizes that if this is going to be a match, if they're going to be casinoed before the race.